What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. My skin's looking a lot better. Um, these past... You haven't really been able to see it on camera because I haven't been recording with my... with I've been recording with bad lighting without my uh, lines open, but... Uh, recently, um, my skin has been getting really bad. I think it's an allergic reaction from all the painting I've been doing at work. Uh, luckily, next week of work is going to be my last week of work. Um, I'm going to be starting school on Tuesday, I think? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm gonna be starting school, uh, not this upcoming Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that. Um, so this upcoming week of work is gonna be my last week of work. Uh, typically I don't work on Mondays because my boss doesn't come in on Mondays, but I'm actually coming in tomorrow on Monday because um, there's this model uh, that we've got to work on and uh, there are gonna be people looking at it on like Thursday and Friday, so it's gotta be ready. Um, but yeah, you know, um, for breakfast I had lots of food. I've had lots of food all day. Where is my phone? Hold on, let's see. Let's see if it's in my room or not. It's not my room. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, that was a pretty big time skip for me. I just talked to my parents for like eight minutes. Um, but yeah, I had lots of food. Let me show you guys. Oh, this kind of just looks like nothing. Yeah, this just looks like we like we this looks like AI generated like food on a plate. But like, yeah, you've got rice and you've got cauliflower and you've got beans, like refried beans with cheese on top, and you've got more beans and you got potatoes and you got a slice of cornbread. <laughs> I just had so much food because we had so many leftovers. We had leftovers of potatoes and cauliflower. And, um, oh my god, one sec, I have to use the restroom now. Yeah, it's because we had cauliflower and potatoes um, for our meal. That was cauliflower, potatoes, and um, what? Uh, that's my parents' show in the background. And salmon. Uh, and then we had leftovers from the Mexican food we had yesterday, which was refried beans and um, rice. Uh, and then there was cornbread, and I just wanted a slice of cornbread yesterday. My mom made this great jalapeno cornbread with like cheddar cheese in it. And uh, you know, that was pretty good, that was pretty tasty. Um, and then for uh, lunch, I didn't have anything. You know, I woke up at around seven. Um, after that, um, you know, I woke up at like seven, and then at after eating, um, at 12.07, I, um, no, sorry, at 10.29, I uh, walked on the treadmill for five miles. I burned 493 calories. My average heart rate was 124 and my distance was five miles. And then I ran for five miles on the treadmill um, for 52 minutes and I burned uh, 590 calories and my average heart rate was 144. Um, so altogether I burned like 1300 calories today, um, which I still think I'd be probably even more than that today, but you know, um, yeah, and then for dinner, we ordered Mexican food again. Uh, you know, I don't know what's going through my parents' minds. We're just ordering food. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, we were originally were gonna get like different like tacos for food, uh, but like Mexican food, like tacos from a different place. But you know, then, you know, it was like too expensive. Like they, they had crazy up charges on all of their prices on Uber Eats. And so we ended up just ordering, um, what we got yesterday, except instead of chicken, I got beef in my chimichanga, and uh, it was kind of cold on the inside, which was a little bothersome, but it was fine, I guess. Um, and yeah, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, ordering food is so bad. It's so much money, it costs so much money. I don't know, my parents have more money than me, so I, I guess it's fine, but it costs so much money to order food. Um, I got my laptop working yesterday, but um, I was having this issue where whenever it turned on um, after the Lenovo splash screen, it would say, hey, PS2 mouse not configured. And my computer would beep really loud, it would go beep. And uh, I hadn't thought much of it, like I never really thought about it these past few days, but I was thinking like, man, it would be really weird for my computer to be beeping all the time. And turns out it's because of the glass trackpad I installed. Um, I now am back to the old trackpad, as you can see by its wear on it. You can see that. Um, I'm back to the old trackpad now, which is totally fine. The last trackpad is sort of a silly luxury. Um, but, um, 
Uh, yeah, so it turns out uh, that trackpad that I bought, that glass trackpad, doesn't natively work with the ThinkPad T480. It just gives you a weird error, so I uh, switched back to my old one and I set up returns for um, my glass trackpad, which is now in here, made in China. Um, is there anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and go to bed pretty early tonight. I'm probably gonna get start getting ready for bed now. Um, but yeah, all right. Uh, I hope everybody has a good day, and uh, hmm. I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, all right, see you tomorrow. Oh, yesterday, um, yesterday night, I set up uh, automatic investments for my Roth IRA. So now I'm gonna be putting an automatic amount of money in there and my portfolio when it comes to um, my Roth IRA is going to be 80% US stock, 10% international stock, and 10% bonds. Uh, 10% bonds is like a pretty silly amount to have when you're 18 years old, in my opinion, not financial advice. Maybe it's good to have more bonds than me, but I feel like, you know, as an 18 year old, I should be going for probably a more aggressive portfolio despite, you know, 90, 10 stock bonds being like pretty uh, aggressive, right? Um, but I'm not like about, to, I'm gonna retire when I'm like 65. So like, even if I lose 100% of my money in stock, it'll probably still be higher by the time I'm 65, you know, than it, than it is now, right? So, um, you know, I, I think it's a little silly. The only reason why I'm going for uh, like an 80, 10, 10, like three fund uh, portfolio is because um, when I was setting up automatic investments, I wanted it to be 80, 15, 5% bonds, um, but it didn't let me, uh, invest that little in bonds like apparently there's like a like a a minimum that you can invest into this bond index fund so you know what can you do i guess um i'm going for bond i i'm going for 10 percent bonds but who knows i might change that in the future we'll see uh but yeah all right see you dude